Alright, hello everyone, my name is Eric, and welcome back to another episode of DNCraft Season 3. It is the final episode here, the finale, and uh, currently I am flying over Founder's Castle, and I have actually completed it in between episodes. Um, that was one of the last things to do this season after Sioux Plantation. So as you can see in front of you, I have completed the Grand Hall here. It's a little bit uh, hastily done, so it doesn't really look too great, you know, compared to some of these other buildings with a lot more detail. Yes, and there is an interior here, um, I'll show you that later on uh, during the world tour, but for now, um, we really don't have much to do. I'm probably just going to give a quick world tour. Uh, the season was a bit shorter, uh, maybe talk about season 4 plans, and then uh, yeah, be on our way. And usually, uh, I usually do the finales in two parts. I think this season I'm probably just going to do one, um, I probably won't be doing the replay. Um, of the season because I just finished a massive replay project with the season 4 uh, teaser video and a replay mod you know it's fun to use very very good tool it just uh, it takes hours to, to make those videos and I don't really want to make another another one of those replay mod videos so yeah probably just a one part finale for this season and uh, yeah I guess we can start with the world tour here so I guess we we'll go to spawn where it all started all right, we are here at spawn. Um, this is where it all started. I think this was actually this whole hill I terraformed. So original spawn was somewhere over like under this hill, probably like here-ish, I'd say. Or no, probably, actually wait, no, it would be on this platform. What am I saying? So original spawn was here and this whole area used to be forested, but I, you know, I, I hate trees. So I cut down all of them <laughs> and uh, replaced them with these wonderful torches, which we actually won't need so many of next season. Uh, when, once we update to 1.19, that's a chunk error. But yeah, I just got the welcome sign. And from there, me, Muffin Man and Tater Tot and Keeson, I think, maybe not. I think it was three of us. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Uh, we ventured to this island here, which was pretty forested as well. It was all birch. And uh, we come here, and this was the from the very beginning of the season. Island claim by Eric, 024, Tater Tot, 12, and Keeson. Oh, so I guess it was the three of us, and Muffin Man must have joined later. Um, yeah. So you can come up here, that's Muffin Man, Muffin Man's house. Um, that's Mr. Yol's kind of tiny house, that's Beast's tiny house. Um, this is the little forge I created, enchanting tower. I'll show some of those in detail more later on. Um, and the, the castle, of course, up there. And then we have Keeson's house here. And then there's the farming island, some of our farms over there. And then my house is right here, and Tater Tot's house is on the other side. And yeah, so uh, this is my house. You know, we got lovely pets, horse and horse too. Again, they're very well fed. Um, yeah, they're, they're just chilling here. They dripped out in the diamond armor. And you come in here, and we got some axolotls just chilling. Very cool. Yes, and then, oh, I already prepped my end of season uh, inventory and ender chest chests. But yeah, that's great. And then over here we have my storage system, which is still kind of filled with random stuff from the beginning of the season. You got you know, a little garden out here. Um, and then under here you got some random things. Feather falling three. And then oh, well these are these are pretty pretty good boots, huh? Yeah. Anyway, and then up here we have ah and birthday cake, and there is an imposter among us. I don't really remember where that was from. I think it was a birthday present, but... Oh, no, no, it was, it was Tater Tot's Christmas present, yes. And then go blow some stuff. Well, that's from Keeson. Anyway, you got a furnace set up. You got a nice, like, table. Got the birthday cake, maybe? I don't know. I, don't, I think this is just a cake, actually. And then up here, we have, you know, my cats. We have a dog Lucky. And, you know, food and bowl, whatever. And then a nice fireplace. You can just kind of chill here. Enjoy the fire. And over here is the bedroom. We have first wooden pickaxe, first stone pickaxe, first diamond pickaxe, then my first sets of armor and tools, which I thought was pretty cool. This is pretty pretty neat how these are the, the first items of the season. I might do this next season. And then over here we have my extra music discs. I have uh, the original copies, or the unique copy. I, I don't know, the, the, the other music discs in my ender chest. And these are all empty, I think. Yeah. And then coming up here, this is actually the roof. Uh, we have a map of the island updated, you know, with the new uh, Grand Hall completed and the new path right there that I added. And, you know, we got some mob heads that I think look pretty cool. 
And, you know, got brewing, just potions I never ended up using, some for weakness, and some bulk storage up here, and more mop heads at the top here. And up here is the attic where, uh, oh, uh, yeah, anyway, totally legal things going on there. <laughs> Moving on, and you come out here, and you have the nether portal on the left. And actually, the next thing we worked on was this farming island over here. Um, I built this windmill pretty early on in the season. I, it might have been like episode three, and this is missing a post. <laughs> Fix that later. And then we you know we have the nice wheat island here. This was the major food source at the beginning of the season. Just tons and tons of bread. And then you got iron farm built by Muffin Man, and then the creeper farm built by Tater Tot and Keeson, and same with the sugarcane farm built by Tater Tot and Keeson. And then you know we have some wheat from Keeson's house. And then we have the castle here. And I'll just quickly show over here is Tater Tot's house. Oh, and these random things here. I think this is the skeleton and spider farm. Okay, this is... Wow, I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> Someone's been busy. There's uh, it's a lot of spider heads. And then over here, I think I built this one. Is the skeleton farm. Yes. With the tinted glass feature. Pretty neat. And then the second pillar over here is a drown farm, actually. Or it's supposed to be a copper farm. Um, it really didn't produce much copper. Actually, I emptied it. It produced a ton of iron flesh and a ton of drowned heads. I actually took a lot of those. But yeah, um, drowned destroyer. Sauce! <laughs> yeah, anyway, it was a failed farm, you could say. Alright, and then coming over here, oh, there's a cow in the middle of the road. Hello, sir. Hello. And then, uh, I built this thing. Actually, I think I built this thing first, and then this thing. I think Kaisen also helped with this. Kison. Kiso. Mr. K.A. They come up here, you know, you got some nice decorations. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Oh, I'm falling. And they come up here, nice enchanting table. This also has a hole in it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And, you know, just got our nice enchanting table here. Haven't really used that since week one. <laughs> All right. And then coming out of the enchanting tower over here, we have the uh, last OG tree. No touchy. Oh, that's what it says on all four sides. Okay, yep, it's like it's like the last tree from the Lorax. You know that movie? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> over here we have our V-Hall. We actually built this first underneath the castle. This is a pretty good V-Hall. Um, served us well. Uh, very, uh, very efficient. We got a nice pumpkin and melon farm, which was always kind of running out of... Well, that one's not running out, but was, <laughs> we were almost always out of stuff when people uh, were always constantly trading. So that was fun. And then we have Let Us Know. And yeah, it was, this was a very good VHL actually, um, another reason, because we had like what, eight masons, so that was a lot of quartz, and you know me, I love quartz in my build, so that was very, very helpful. Alright, and then I guess we can start from the bottom here, so starting at the bottom, this is the castle, I think this is actually a pretty good build, um, I, it's a pretty, pretty good build, probably the biggest uh, like community build of the season, you come up with these grand stairs, welcome to Founder's Castle! Construction constructed by Aerox 24 Keeson and Tater Tot 12. Completed May 21st, 2022. And uh yeah. So, you know, you got the nice portcullis, two towers, and then the gatehouse, wheelhouse, I don't really know what the term is. And you come in here, and you know you got some houses on the right, houses houses on the left, houses on the right, I know my directions, yes. And then you got some like overhanging decorations, I don't really know. And then a fountain here. And, you know, got some stables with very, very generic names. Uh, that Kisa, I didn't do this, Kisa did that. We, we were planning on actually making this whole castle into, like, another one of the present hunts, like we did with the Christmas village. But we definitely didn't finish it in time for Christmas, and we actually didn't even finish it in time for anything, really. This is, like, down to the last day of the server. So we didn't get to do that, but it would have been fun. So at the beginning here, you'll see there are a lot of kind of hidden chests. And as we get to the back, there's really nothing because we gave up on the idea. We you know, got some food stalls here, some steak and armor and whatnot. Then over here, you got some logs and coal. And then, you know, I got a tower that I'm pretty sure was supposed to have an interior, but it didn't. All right. And then over here, we have this house, you know, some random details in here. Um, there used to be a book up here. And I don't know where it went, but yeah, it's no, just a tiny, tiny house. And then over here we have, and then as you come back here, you can start to get into the areas that were completely 
unfinished. Like, this area has no interior at all. Um, yeah. And you come down here, there's the courtyard here, a little bit of a random building materials. And then, you know, I got a kitchen. And then this goes into the grand hall, well, it shall actually go in through the main entrance. Um, right here and then this roof is very scuffed because I did it with like I don't know I, I just did it on the fly no planning at all just kind of threw some deep slate down and it, it looked okay passable just what didn't want it to be uh, have no roof so I just wanted the castle to be done so then over here you know there's nobody in here just empty room paintings and then in here there's really nothing in here at all um, you can see some of the paintings, um, that's Latin, and then, you know, that, yeah, <laughs> why aren't there more paintings, skull, and yeah, that's pretty much it, got a nice little throne over here, just kind of sit down and chill, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the castle, actually, um, there might be a few things, um, I didn't talk about, like, Oh, there's like the towers. Oh, and then this tower back here is supposed to be completely detailed, but it is completely empty, so that's unfortunate. And um, we have these little walkways up here. It uh, could have been fun to do PvP duels in here as well, but never really got the chance to do that. But overall, I think the castle, you know, pretty good build. A um, little bit unfinished, but you know, still a pretty cool looking build. Also, I think that tower is slightly out of proportion, but you know, it is what it is. And moving on from our island here, I think that's everything. We can head over to spawn, which is where we started to focus more of our attention later in the season. Um, now I built this welcome sign, I revamped spawn with the DNCraft logo, then Keeson and I, you know, we made this bridge, um, and then like this kind of like center nature kind of island, and then the beds, and then entering the shopping communal, not shopping, communal district, we have like some statues here, Justice, Valor, and then the very few shops, there's two shops here, and then a game, and then a restaurant. I think this nether portal was pretty cool. Didn't really use it too much though, um, and our nether hub is pretty sad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like I showed in the last video. But yeah, then you come over here, this is the New Year's thing, which is still running. Uh, there's no, I think there's actually fireworks in like one of these dispensers somewhere, because they didn't fire ever. Hey, you know, you come here. Uh, welcome to Christmas Cove, Eric's are too foreign keys, and you know, you just have a snowman, he's waving, he's happy, and then, you know, some candy canes, presents, um, I think this Christmas tree is definitely the best one, um, out of all the seasons, and the gift exchange was really fun too, um, gotta do that with more people next year, and yeah, let's just come over here and show the cake that Tate Out and I made, if I can get up here, yep cake by the ocean because it's by the ocean <laughs> and you know just selling random stuff from our v-haul uh, i don't think wait we actually made a sale okay that's cool um and yeah i think we can't open that chest but yeah just cake cookies pie i actually was not expecting that we'd make a sale I'll just leave that in there it's kind of funny um yeah anyway it's a pretty neat shop pretty cool detailing and there's a donkey in the middle of this communal area. And this is just an empty wither that Tater Tot made, and then Axolotl, Tater Tot and I made, and then the Among Us parkour over here, and that's Tater Tot's Elytra shop. And of course, there is Sue Plantation, which I showed in the last video, so you know, I'm not gonna show it in too much detail, but you know, you just got the salad bar, cafe, some seating, and you know, you got the bathrooms with, you know, still, still there. <laughs> and then the kitchens. And yeah, it's a pretty cool build as well. It was cool um, recreating it from real life. Um, it's kind of too bad that it took like five, six months to make, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> and then I think that's it for builds, really. Actually, Tater Tot and I did make a wither farm, but I don't really remember how to get there because I haven't used it in so long. All right, and this is our uh, nether hub. Like I said, you can't really call it that because there's like one ice bridge and that's pretty much it. And there's a, there's a cow it's just chilling. Um, yeah. And then actually I can show these stronghold. There's the thing to mark the end and, uh, back here, you know, July 19th, 2021. Nearly a year ago, we defeated the Ender Dragon. That's pretty cool neat. Yeah, that, was, that was a year ago. That was when we used the flying machine. But yeah, and then you come to the end here. Our end is also not too impressive. We got an Enderman farm. Pretty neat. Keep getting better each season. 
there's a lot of pearls there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's no end arena. Oh, by an angered, uh, angered a lad. But yeah, there's no end arena or uh, crystal lighting things like last season. So that's a bit unfortunate. And that guy's really angry. I'm gonna run. Uh, all right, but I think that that is it for all of my builds for season three. Like I said, it was a bit of a shorter season, and season four will actually be starting tomorrow, so you can expect some new videos soon. And um, I'm actually going to try and shorten the videos next season, try some different styles and whatnot. And I actually have a lot of plans for next season as well regarding like builds and other shenanigans. But with that, I think it is time to say goodbye to season three, you know, and all of the wonderful builds. And, uh, yeah, just put all my stuff in here. Uh, just take all that off. Just plop that in there. Actually, I'll put it on this side. And then we'll put that up there. This down here. Actually, I'll empty my ender chest. I'll do that off camera. I'll do that off camera. And, uh, yeah. That is it. And with that being said, Thank you very much for watching this video. It appears we are out of time. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you all in season four. See ya!